Hey there, Gemini. This is Renee. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how your person feels about you right now. Okay, where the relationship is going, how they see you, and how you are feeling in this relationship. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and get an outcome. We're going to end off with some angel numbers, so stay to the end and we'll get started okay we're going to take a look at your energies remember that these energies can be flipped so um if this is your energy okay if this is their energy okay you may want to also take a look at their sign if you know it and see what other messages are provided okay your energy well their energy Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Okay. And for you, we have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. Okay. So I feel like, Gemini, I feel like your person is very determined. Your person may have a lot of things on the table. They may be doing a lot of projects, but there's a lot of things that they're doing. And I feel like there's just some things about this person that you just may need to accept because I know you feel like, yeah, this person is not changing, you know? So I feel like there's a lot of things within your person that you may need to accept. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the tarot. What's going on? Give me a message for your person's feelings right now. Wow, the Nine of Cups. How they feel about you. The Eight of Wands. Where this relationship is going. The Hangman. Okay. And your energy is the Ace of Swords. Okay, at the bottom we have the judgment card. So I feel like there's a lot of things in this relationship that, you know, you may need to have faith in. But I also feel like you're both kind of stepping out of your comfort zone. You're doing new things. You're having new adventures. You're just having faith in the situation. You're not letting a lot of things bring you down because you're like accepting that this person is totally different from you. You know, and I feel like that's bringing you into an awareness, an awakening, okay? Because your energy is the Ace of Swords, which is really dealing with your thoughts and, you know, the these thoughts and intellect and breakthroughs. And I feel like, you know, you're it's becoming more clear to you that, you know, you understand that your person is driven. You understand that your person is busy. You know, they may have a lot of things on the table and you are accepting these things because you don't want to change them. Maybe because you like them just like they are. Okay, so I feel like this is very accepting energy. So I'm really liking this for you because I feel there's a lot of balance here. Okay, their feelings at the moment are the, the nine of cups. So they're very content. They're very happy. They feel like they have everything that they need. Okay, their energy towards you is the eight of wands. So they feel like, you know, you are just, you know, out to go for whatever it is that you want. You may be a go-getter yourself. You both may have a lot of ambition, a lot of drive, a lot of desire to get something done. Okay, and there also may be a lot of communication here. Maybe you are the talker and your person is the listener. Okay, so I feel like, you know, they kind of see you as taking the lead, you know, being the talker, being the thought provoking person, and they're kind of content in their situation. They're like, you know, coming more aware of what they want in life and how they see things going. And, you know, things are becoming more clear. They're ready to just sacrifice whatever they need to sacrifice because they feel like you're worth it. Okay? So I feel like there's a beautiful energy here, Gemini. The person that you're with is very understanding, very 
um, they may also be very giving with this Nine of Cups energy. Let's go ahead and clarify. Let's get some energy to cl clarify this reading. Okay, with the Nine of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords. Wow, the Ace of Swords. Lots of swords here, for real. And we have the Hermit card. For you, we have the Ten of Cups. Wow, okay. And we have the Three of Wands at the bottom. So I feel like your relationship is just passionately growing, passionately evolving and changing. You know, uh, you may be, you know, a couple that has been together for a while or someone who is just starting out. But I feel like, you know, your relationship is going to the next level. If it's not going to the next level, it's going to the next level very soon because I feel a lot of growth, a lot of passion, a lot of drive. Um, in your relationship. Okay, with the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Swords, I feel like, you know, this person has an understanding that, you know, they want to make time and be, you know, set a schedule to, you know, take time out. And I'm also getting that you know, this person may be very intelligent, very caring, very loyal with this Swords energy. Now, this can also be your energy, Gemini, with this Queen of Swords energy. So I feel like you totally understand where this person is coming from and you're letting them be free to be them. Okay, with this Eight of Wands energy, I feel like there's a lot of newness here. There's a lot of clarity and I feel like, you know, there's a passion to speak your mind you know and I feel like this person may have a lot to say they may have a lot they want to tell you that they want to express and I feel like what they're going to express is going to be very good news okay and with the hermit and the um hangman I feel like these sacrifices that you're both making um to give each other the space to be yourself are gaining wisdom. It's a very mature energy, very mature and enlightening because that's going to take you a long way. That is what's bringing out this Ten of Cups energy because you're in this mature energy to let your partner be who they are. Okay, so they don't feel like they have to sacrifice so much to make you happy because they feel like they are free to be them. You know, they don't have to satisfy this big need that's going to be very hard for them to satisfy because you are very accepting because you see this happy ending with your person. You're, you're going to end up very happy, very emotionally stable with your person. Okay, let's get an outcome for Gemini. Give me an outcome, please. The Nine of Swords. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups. Okay, now look at this. At the bottom, we still have that Three of Wands. So I feel like you're growing. And I feel like, you know, this Eight of Swords energy, this is just growing pains, pains here. You know, this is just growing pains. There may be some kind of situation to where you may be holding yourself back from saying something that you know, may be discouraging to the other person. But I feel like, you know, whatever you've heard, whatever's being told to you, you're kind of holding it to yourself. You're not letting it out. And you're not, you're like, you're not focused on the past any longer. You're focused on the future. You're focused on building a family, building a strong relationship. And, you know, bringing a lot of happiness and celebration to your family. So you're not dwelling on this ace of, 
and on this uh, Eight of Swords energy. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull a card for this Eight of Swords. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords energy, Spirit. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords energy. What kind of information are they getting? Okay, we have the Three of Cups. So something is becoming clear. It may be something in your social setting. Something is becoming obvious. Um, but I feel like, you know, either you or this person are, you know, you're talking through things. You're working things out. You, you aren't sitting back and just wallowing in fear or, you know, dissatisfaction. You're actively talking and working something out. So I feel like this may be just something that you're going through, some kind of situation. It may have to do with the other people in your life, maybe family or friends. Um, they may be saying something in your ear about your person, or they may be saying something about you to your person. Okay? So, you know, just be aware of that, Gemini. But we are going to take an angel number and see what's coming forward for you. Okay, we have five, five, five. We have change. Change happens outside your comfort zone. The time for change is now. The angels are whispering for you to trust your path and learn how to walk it. Take the next step. Allow change to lift you up and guide you forward. Okay, and Gemini, your affirmation. I release all all that no longer serves me as I am guided to move outside of my comfort zone and let change in. Okay, so that's beautiful. That's beautiful, Gemini. Okay, I hope this reading helps you. Um, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have the March playlist up. You can take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for love. Okay? And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.